Hi, my name is Roberta, and I am a PhD student in astrophysics. This is my work, it's called the first AI simulation of a black hole. Our goal is to investigate the use of deep learning for forecast the state of turbulent flows onto black holes. Okay, we need to, we want to understand black hole's physics. And we answer we we, we want to answer two questions. The one of them is, can deep learning learn black hole's physics? And if the answer is yes, we want to see if deep learning can be the new method to speed up numeric simulation from black holes. This is the motivation of our work. We want to investigate a new method to speed up the simulations. Because numeric simulations, they are the traditional methods, but they take too long time to simulate uh, the black hole's physics, like a very simple treatment with hydronomical treatment, it takes seven days running 400 CPU cores, which is a lot, so we need to investigate a new method. Like, in, in this is the motivation of our, our work. The new method we want to investigate is the deep learning. We use convolutional neural networks as our main goal. And this, the... The data, they are Navier-Stokes solutions, but we need to consider black hole's gravitational potential. So we put a, a black hole in the, the solutions of these Navier-Stokes equations. And we have three main parameters, the density, the pressure, and the velocity. Is the result we get from Navier-Stokes solutions. Uh, we have two cases. One of them is the one simulation case, where the model learns from own system only, learns from this only system, and simulate this only system. In the multi-simulation multi case, we fit eight different systems, but the, the physics is the same. The only difference is between the initial conditions between them. We put this in the model, and the model start. Uh, we want the model to predict a system the model never saw before, so it simulates a never seen system. Okay. Uh, this is the result of the one simulation case. Here is the direct predictions where we feed a simulation frame to the model and the model predicts. So we feed another simulation frame and predicts. We see that the error is very low. It's below 1%, but we see some problems in the polar region and the outer boundaries due to data's resolution. This is very detailed in the paper. But in general, the, the the solution of the model is really well. It's almost the same between the target and the prediction. And the second here is the iterative prediction, where we just feed a single simulation frame to the model, and the model predicts. And then we pick this prediction, and feed again to the model, and this go on and on and on and on. And we see that the model can learn into a certain time. But after that, the error goes very, really quickly, up uh, very quickly. So this is something uh, to investigate as well, okay? Um, here is the multi-simulation case, uh, the case the model never saw before. So you see that the model can simulate by itself, okay, with error uh, between 2.3%. 2, 2 in general, the model can simulate and to learn the, the physics very well. Again, the detail on the paper, okay? So the the one care, one question is answered already. Uh, we see that the mod, the deep learning can be this new method, but we want to see if this can speed up numeric simulations. And the answer is yes. In the one simulation case, the speed up is thirty two thousand times faster than numeric simulations. And the never seen system before, the speed up is seven thousand. The, the reason why the never seen system is a little bit lower than the one simulation case is because the train set is larger, so the, the train time is also uh, larger as well. But in both cases, they are faster than numeric simulation. Okay, Here is just a quickly show how all the simulations are, and the model can predict very well all of them. Okay, so. Uh, it doesn't have any problems. And here's the conclusion. Uh, we see that machine learning, or more specifically deep learning, can learn and simulate an accretion disk. It can be used to understand black hole's physics. It simulates well to a set to almost 1,000 gravitation time. Uh, it generalized to a never seen system. The, again, the details are in my paper and in my master's thesis. One of the limitations is the data's resolution. 
So, and I want to investigate this in my PhD, okay? Thank you very much. This is my email. This is my Twitter. You can just reach out to me there, okay? Thanks so much.